Well, hey, Chris. Firstly, thank you for your patience. Sorry for all the yelling in the background. It's uh, the kids just got home from school. So let's do an evaluation first off. It's original type two crystal. Interestingly high top two. Definitely original, your loom is grayed down some. I should be able to address that. Dial surface is excellent. Excellent, really nice. Crown's a little tight and that's okay. That doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, it looks like the metal surface on the hands is good. Even around there, you can see it. I should be able to clean that up pretty well. Case is worn, but it's an original finish. You can even still see the, the hatchiness. I'm not sure if that's touched up or just worn. Good case lines. December 72. Original crown. Original buttons with the same matching bevel chamfer around there. Case is dirty, but it's original. You got an H link. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's not bad. One more wouldn't go amiss, but that's not bad. That's Pretty much, I think full length is 12. I'll need to check. Definitely original. Okay, so let's uh, let's think about this. Let's get the. I've already the case bag is loose, but I haven't actually looked at this in quite some time. Because I've been waiting for it to come up in our servicing queue. My servicing queue. Yeah, interesting. Look at that. <clears throat> got the correct Pogue style weight with the text on it. The chronograph is running. It looks like the main sweep is bent up a little bit. Looks like it's bent here at the tip. I'm not sure what's up with that. Let's see how the chronograph wheel is doing. Let's see if it pushes. Pushes that minute, count, minute counter wheel over. Yeah, this dial's in really nice shape. Inserts a little warm, but nice, deep, and unfaded, too. Unfaded red, it's one of my Kind of my pet diddlies. Come on. Let's see you push. Push over, baby. Yes. Cool. All right. Your minute counter hand is misaligned. Somebody had fun with that. But the watch definitely seems to have an okay chronograph wheel. Let's see where the reset is. Yeah, it's pretty much right on. This is bent, so when I unbend that, I should be able to correct that if the main sweep is bent, and it actually looks like it is slightly. Not a big deal. Applied logo looks good. It's obviously a runner. It resets. The chronograph wheel appears to be in good condition. The movement looks to be original. I don't see any. The graying out of the loom is just from ambient humidity making its way in. Yeah, your movement ring spring looks great. I think this is going to be pretty straightforward. It's funny, I just got my nose close to it. And uh, 
sometimes these old original watches, they smell like uh, the insides of like old tires, like old rubber. That's what this smells like. That is absolutely the wrong spring. That is a long spring. That's a long spring. That's not for here. For That's like for a... Um, well, there's other models that use this one. 6200s use a long one like that. Some of the... Some of the 6000 series sport divers use a long one. But that's, that's it. They lost the original short one. That one is too long. So that is definitely going to need to be replaced. Just checking stuff out here. Yeah, look at that button is completely stuck. And you can see that gasket on there is hard as rock. All this is good stuff, by the way. It means the watch is original. Same with this. Where are your buttons? There are your button springs. Some fuzzies. Some fuzzies. Typical dirtiness. This is a really normal looking 6105. I'm sorry, 6139. Let's, uh, let me go back here. There's that, let's flip it. Get a movement holder. When I'm doing examinations, I just I leave the movement ring on there because it helps protect the movement. Yeah, man, that dial is really nice. Look at the surface. Almost perfect. More fingerprints. So whoever rebuilt that crown or whatever, they got some, they weren't as careful as they ought to be. I'm trying to show it to you. What? Huh? Oh, you. Uh, there's just, somebody left a little fingerprint. The dial is almost perfect. Yeah, it's beautiful, my goodness. Yeah, it's really nice. But yeah, there's a fingerprint on there. Somebody had to rebuild the crown. And I don't see a fingerprint. I, I can see it under magnification. It's oh. barely there. It doesn't really matter. It's of course just. It doesn't. I just don't see it. Yeah, no. It all it talks about is the the last person who worked on it. Okay, this looks. Let me look at that case back. Boy, that's a beautiful dial. Jeez, we I clean up that gray loom. This thing's gonna be sweet. And we got one servicing mark in here. And it says, let me get my super magnifier. If I can find the damn thing, there it is. I don't know what that means. Usually it doesn't mean anything to me. But I think we are pretty sure that it's a, this looks to me like a one owner watch that for the most part was untouched and then somebody did a little bit of work on it and uh did something funny to it but all the hands are original dials original looms a little patinaed down movement looks decent i think this is gonna be a fine watch gonna be not a problem so i'm gonna i'm gonna stop this and i will uh show this to you and we're gonna go from there but i don't right now i don't anticipate anything funky We'll see. Okay, thank you so much. I think it's a great candidate, and it'll be wonderful when we're done. Okay, as a wise old baboon once said, it is time.
bad. Bad. So let me start making a pile. Oh, and you're like, well, you don't just say bad. Why is it bad? It's bad uh, because it's been sprung too far apart and I can rebend them, but might as well just replace it because I have many of them. Come on, would you get out? Stop that. Out, out, out. I don't even know why I check anymore. Typical lower mainspring arborware. I wonder how much Seiko saved by not jeweling those.
November 1972. Mm, it's a nice dial. It's a beautiful dial. Look at this thing. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me, let me bag that up so we know it's safe. Dirty. Looks like that got oil on the pivot, but it's long gone. Let me check that after it's cleaned. loose almost tight loose 100% loose I didn't even have to move to get it to go Chronograph bridge looks good. Pivots look good. A little wear in the upper and the intermediate, but not a big deal.
I might have to reseat this again. Sometimes these these brass wheels, they come off the pinion. They just loosen up. It's not a big deal. It's probably fine. Yeah, looks pretty okay so far. I always hope, used to be in the old days, you'd open these up and every now and then this would be jeweled because an old schooler got, you know, got hold of the watch and fixed it the, the right way. Come on. Wait. I almost forgot the important ones. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, we got. It. Thank you. A little bit of the typical wear in the upper mainspring arbor. But we're going to replace that with a jewel. So, that will look much nicer. Here. That's the deal. That is your chronograph wheel. It's 
starting to slip. Your clutch is not gripping as well as it should, um, but I see that sometimes it still is gripping. I'll be able to tighten it up a hair, I certainly believe. Is that lower mainspring arm report? I don't know if you can see, but it's all ovaled out and blown out. That's what they always look like. Okay. Hmm. Look bad. It's pretty clean inside. Hmm. It's a little coned. It's a, I mean, it's a spring. We can retune a spring. Same thing we do with a uh, hairspring, but we'll clean that and see how it does. Cool. And your barrels look good too. I mean, it's your barrel and your barrel cap. Look, they're not, they're not that worn. They're like, they're not really down to the brass at all. That one is a little. Just a little. If I straighten that spring and it should be fine. Okay. Well, that's almost unfaded and flat. Good. Yeah, it was dragging a little. I th maybe that one edge. I'll look at it. See that circle of wear right there. using the wrong screwdriver.
There's your day date quick set lever. Looks good. It's flat. It's not bent. Minute wheel bridge. It's got a little ring wear on the underneath, but that's totally normal. It's not bad. Jumper. These were almost never bad. It's weird. Only usually if it's rust. There's the nuts. Yeah, that's pretty clean. Yeah, it's pretty clean. It's a little stretched, not much. Ooh, dirty. Dirty. Nice. You see, it's early enough. It still has the uh, the metal two-piece intermediate date driving wheel. Not long after they went to plastic, which, of course, is way less cheaper to do. And also, technically speaking, it's self-lubricating. Unless there's a real problem with a calendar, it's usually not a big deal. Opinion. Yeah, ridges are pretty sharp, actually. It's good. these you always got to check this little post right here that's what interacts with the stem if that gets worn or rusty the stem can start popping out all right i gotta change the spring on this it's the wrong spring right that's right so i gotta get this old gasket off like plastic. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that's left of your crown gasket. Okay, there's our main plate. I don't remove these things, there's no point. Oh, 
collision room. No, that's grease. Okay, cool. Now it is time for me. I'm gonna machine this out and put in a lower mainspring arbor port. Same deal with the upper. I'll put in an upper. I'm gonna go over this and hand clean. And we will come back when it's time for assembly. Okay. Hi, Chris. Came out nicely. It's a good watch. Mechanically, it was fine. I mean, I had to do upper and lower mainspring arbor jewels, but there were a couple little fiddly other bits, and I'll include that when I send the, the invoice. Biggest triumph, of course, is the loom. You remember your loom was all grayed out. It was grayed out on the dial and on the pip, and the hour and minute hands were also not in great shape. The hour loom was especially damaged, but this is all original loom. That is your original loom. All I've done is clean it. Everything else? December 1972. I don't know, I'm not saying much because there's not much to say. It's a beautiful watch. It runs beautifully, the numbers are great. Uh, I just need to finish fixing the bracelet, which I'm working on, and then we're gonna be good to go. I'm just, I'm so happy about the loom. Especially the, the, the hour loom, hour hand loom here. It was really, really darkened down at the base and I had to Cleaning the loom probably took me a couple of hours on and off, but it, it really takes work because I don't, I don't make my mix to be especially aggressive because I want to be able to control how far it goes. So at a certain point, I was like, ah, I think I can't push this anymore, but I was like, screw it, I'm going to try. So I tried and it worked. Very proud. Again, I'm working on the bracelet. Bracelet's not ready yet, but the watch itself is done. And I'm gonna have another video for the 6217 here. Well, not momentarily, but very soon. Well, this one's been in testing, the other one's been, I've been working on the other. Okay, so there's that. Thank you so very much for your patience and your kindness and all that. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm.